Sometimes in life, we make, we make strange circles. We begin with one thing, we learn something, and we move on. We move on to the next stage, we learn other things. But somehow, very strangely, we end up being back there where we started, with some same old, really basic principles. Today with me is my beloved partner, in life and uh, in dance, Yekaterina. And the reason uh, why she's here is because she shared the experience throughout my life, which I'm going to share today with you. So she's the one to prove it. Um, I have danced for most of my conscious life. And uh, while I was dancing, I was constantly asked by people, so your father is a big businessman, so why don't you stop dancing and go on and do business or study some uh, business module or, or something? And I thought, yeah, that's true. I have to do it one day. And that one day came. I stopped dancing and I go back into business or start business. I have to learn a lot of things. That was 2008. I started learning a lot of things. And what happened is, I realized that there was much more between dancing and business than I realized earlier. So this is how I came back to the place where I started. So what is this thing that is so common about dancing and business? The thing is, you already see it on the board, it's partnering. Business is partnering, just like dancing. Let me explain a little bit more what I mean by partnering. Let's go on. In partnering, we have three main components, without which partnering is impossible, the real partnering. First of all, it's me or you. Second, it's the other one, somebody else, another me, another you, another human being, another organization, your client, your colleague, whatever. Your organization, like I mean. And all of that is not only the two of them, it's also, it's all in the dynamic relationship towards a shared target. So in business, like I said, you have you and your business partners. You have your colleagues, you have your boss, you have the organization itself, you have your department. You are in a constant relationship with that thing, with the other, in order to achieve something, to achieve success. In dancing, it's much more simple. It's me, and this is another me, or it's another you. It's my partner, the other. Together, we combine to make a result, a dance, a performance. So this is just a bit of theoretical introduction. But now, what I have found, what made my dance a little more successful, was the same principles that I noticed are needed in business. And I noticed that they're not recognized as such. So I found that my dance experience can be helpful in the business world, in my own company. So now let me go through a few, five actually, five basic principles that I have formulated, which I think lead to success in partnering and therefore lead to success in business or whatever, in dance, in your Valentine's Day as well. <laughs> so let's move on. So principles for successful partnering. Let me start with the first one. Physical and energetic presence. That seems so basic, so simple, so nothing is said over here. We are there anyway. Every day, we shake hands with hundreds of people. We say we connect. But is it so? Do we really connect? Do we really come to another human being like another me? Or do we approach another human being as a thing? Something which has a function in your life. Making a connection 
is not as easy as it seems from the first point of view. It takes courage. It takes energy. It takes ability to share. And it's intimate. Since you are all motivated people here, let us try a brief exercise with you. Please raise up your right hands. If you know which that is, it's, it's this one. <laughs> right? Can we? With your right hand, reach towards your neighbor on your right and touch him or her wherever you feel like you want to touch. And take it as a learning process, OK? <laughs> Boys, it's a learning process. But really, touch, feel. What, is, what does it feel like? Is it a bit uncomfortable? How does it feel? Explore it. Be, be, stay with it. Don't, don't get away from it. Be with it. And now, since we're all holding something, we can call for the Holy Spirit to come in, right? <laughs> OK, release it. So it takes something. It takes something to connect to another human being. How I came to this experience in my dancing, sometimes some things worked, sometimes some things didn't work. And what I found is that things generally work when I take my energy to connect with another person. I'm now connecting to you. You are my partner. The audience is my partner. I may be talking exactly the same things without actually coming into you with being on my own. Same content, everything's the same, but I don't care about you. You don't care about me. That's the glass wall between us. This partnership never works. Let me try a few moves in my dancing. And let me comment a bit how I make this partnership. So first of all, I don't come in and just take my partner as a function and push her around in the room, right? This is not what we need. What we actually need is to connect with another human being. In order to connect, I have to connect to myself. Feel the floor, breathe in, breathe out. Open my heart. And here I am, there for you. I can say hello, hi, how are you doing? Nice to see you. Or I can make a dance, it's the same. Here's my hand, it's for you. And here's me, and we may do a little something here. Zuck. Stay there. And release. Into. And that's connected. And that's much better than the simple function. That's not so much about function. It's about two energies dancing together. So let me come back to business. If you don't like your partner, things will never work. But how do you come to like somebody? You feel it here. If you connect, you like that somebody. If you don't, that's it. Your business partner, your department, your company is finished, is destroyed. So bet before simple you and me relationship is developed, you cannot go for any more difficult things. So let me go with one place which I struggle a lot to learn. Sometimes we would stand in 70 meters away behind a lot of people waiting for our turn to perform. There's a lot of noise around us. There's a lot of something. But she knows in 70 meters away, I'm here for her. And she knows I'm ready. Or oh, the microphone. We connected until yeah, it's actually pushed. Yes, thank you. Yay. Let's move to the second thing. Connection builds trust.
Thank you. Being there physically, energetically, has something to do with reality. We don't trust something which is not real. If I want to connect to my beloved one, I have to be there for her, and therefore she can trust in me. And it's very different than making friends on Facebook or SMSing. Just a short notice. We don't SMS or make friends on Facebook because it's convenient. We do so because we're afraid. We're afraid to make real connections. We're afraid to fail. But my partnering is about taking courage to do that. So we have mo moved on to trust. First of all, trust. Does she trust me because I'm trustworthy? Or am I trustworthy because she trusts me? That's the point I want to make. Only when she trusts me and does all those crazy things, this is not enough space to show the speed and the, the flight of it. But she did that in various consequences, in various, she just flies. And I know she trusts me so much that I cannot let her down. What about life? What do we do with all those lawyers in business? We make protections, we go for a job interview. I want 5,000 liters because I've finished ISM University, I'm so good, right? If you're good, if you trust yourself, tell your employee, pay how much you think I'm worth. I trust you will make a good decision. Make another responsible. Responsibility, giving somebody responsibility makes them grow. In your companies, you are future leaders. If you trust somebody and you keep telling that to a person, that person becomes much more successful. So she trained me just running and flying, and I had to catch her. There was no other way. I couldn't let her down. Let's try another piece where we actually, we need a bit of trust, and where she actually trusts me so much that you can't believe it. How far can she go? And let's keep it here for now. So she gives she gives it all without making reservations. Isn't that something we could use in business? Just a rhetorical question for now. Let's move on. Focus on your role. Do your job. We often say, he's not doing right. She's not doing right. If I want to keep her that way, she would say, turn your leg outwards a little bit. Keep your body weight a little bit more on the left. OK, on the left. On the right, OK, on the right. But is it the way to go? The way to go is focus on yourself. The only thing you can control in this life, and not always, as, of course, is yourself. You cannot control the other. The only thing you can do is actually improve yourself as a partner. Focus on yourself. Use more me than the other one. That leads to successful partnership. But again, we focus on ourselves. But let's not forget, we are in one big picture, in one big result. That's what we're going for. So I'm just, let, let us focus on ourselves for a little figure, right? Focusing so much on myself here, really working my ass off to become perfect, right? OK, thank you. Well, what does that mean? Nothing. Because I'm doing it alone, and I'm not putting it into picture with others. People have different roles in life. And everybody's job is to do your own role. So when they connect, it comes into a little piece of one more time. choreography. Okay, one more time. Better? Is it? <laughs> okay.
Is that a... I was wondering whether that was a bit of a better picture. <laughs> Let me try another one. But it's not funny. I had to practice that way. I have to stretch that arm out, I have to lift my heel up, really extend, reach that pillar over there, more, yes. That's what I'm practicing every day. But that's not it. I'm focusing on myself in order to be there for my partner. Let's put it into one result. In business, in any company, you have finance director, you have commerce director, you have a director, general di director, <laughs> and all other kinds of directors and project managers and personnel department managers. And the idea is that everybody does their job but sees their place in the general picture. So this is very important. Now let's move on. Another, probably the most important thing. We mentioned that every partnership is only the partnership as long as it goes to some target, a shared target. When we move dynamically from one, from A to B, there's usually somebody leading. In business, in the couple, you have different people, all the same people, taking leadership at some time. We often talk about leaders, about leaderships. So what does it mean to lead? Let me try to lead her. I'll just lead you, don't worry. I'll, I'll just make her walk. What's wrong? Is it? <laughs> something wrong, yes. Something, something's wrong. I haven't listened to her. Was she standing on the right leg or the left leg? If I want to move her right leg, why don't I put her weight on the left? Then her right leg is free, so then we can move. I move her weight on the right, so therefore her left leg is free, and then we can move. If I want to lift her, I have to take responsibility to support her weight. If I want to put her back, I must know when she is on her legs in order to do something. Right? So in order to lead my partner, I must know so much about her. In order to lead your colleagues, your group, you have to feel them, sense them. They're constantly giving you signals. Oh, I'm feeling so good today. I'm so energetic. Just press them and let's go. Somebody's tired. He needs something else. As a leader, you have to step in at the right timing. And in the end, okay, this time is up, but I'll just show one more thing. In the end, you're not sure who's leading, who's following. Both people are leading. So it's me who's initiating the movement. But actually, she is leading what I'm doing next, and only when I'm ready, she can fall into my arms. Thank you. So the leadership. Listen. Listen more. The last point I want to make, don't expect, but accept. There are hundreds of competitions we did with Yekaterina, and they were never good. Because they are never the same as we have rehearsed them. Once you go out on the dance floor, things are different. The floor is different, the audience is different, She's feeling different, I'm different, and things will go different. My task is not to judge. This is right, this is wrong, you're right, you're wrong, I'm wrong, you're right. 
Anyway, this is not my job. I have to turn problems into opportunities. Easy to say, but very hard to do. I think this is one of the main things to open up our creativity, to accept the actual. What's happening here, be with it here and now. There's so many ma mistakes I did here today with my dancing. You haven't noticed them. Or maybe you did, but don't tell anybody then. <laughs> but I dealt with that. It's fine. That's life. It's, it's moving. It's changing. And the real partnership is in dynamics. In dynamics, you have to find the link. And I guess this is it. The main points I wanted to make about partnership in dance and in business. Be there for your partner. Really be there. Trust somebody and with your trust make them responsible. Make them successful. Do your job. Focus on yourself. But see yourself in the general picture. Listen more. You have two ears and one tongue. Use them. The ears. I mean. Don't expect life to be one way or another. Just accept it and use every opportunity you have to create interesting things. Thank you very much. Thank you, Yekaterina. It was a pleasure to be here.